Hello and welcome to Benz Addiction. We have a big issue over here with this Mercedes ML Class W164. The Audio 20 head unit was looking good when I bought this car like four weeks ago, but I did nothing. I didn't even leave this car under sunlight. I cleaned it using a cloth and not heavy duty cleaners. The next day I came here, I noticed it's peeling from right hand side. It's the typical issue with all these units and literally I have seen 50 of them like this so far. If you look on eBay or any stores. So here we have three choices. First, uh, get an Android Auto, which is not going to be the perfect quality unless you pay uh, like $500 to get some something decent of quality in terms of audio quality and things like that. Second, to replace it with a navigation, Mercedes navigation command unit. That's a better choice. Maybe that's, a, that's an upgrade to Mercedes uh, command unit is a high quality and nicer ones. The third choice, I want to try to restore this to a better condition. So let's start with removing this a cover from here and trying to uh, restore it okay so here is how it looks and the best way to do this is to first try to remove all these crappy uh, clear coat or whatever it is on from the top of it while it's in place and I'm going to use a heat gun and slightly heat heat the surface it has two benefits first I can uh, melt up the glue around it so I can remove the screen second I can remove these material off the surface easier hopefully <laughs> Okay, by the look of it, I have removed everything. I think I've left only one small piece over here. That is not a big deal. I'm going to heat up the surrounding to uh, melt up uh, the adhesive so I can remove the screen easier. Okay, what's happening? It's coming off, but I had a little problem here. So unfortunately, I lost the corner. But let's continue. I just want to see if I can make this screen to look clear and perfect again. Okay, I have removed all the adhesive from surrounding of this head unit. So if you want to remove your screen as well, you need to have a look here. There are two small legs underneath the screen. So what you need to do instead of removing from left hand side over here that's what i did you need to remove from this area over here flex the display out and from top you can remove without breaking the legs or breaking the screen that's what i did wrong but you can now learn from my mistake so all I need over here is P800, P1500 and P2000 sandpaper. Let's start with P800 and sand out the surface under the water. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
We just want smooth surface with nothing going up and down. Very smooth, very flat. Nice. So it seems like we are getting there because I cannot see any imperfection except the scratches. I think that's enough of 800 grit sandpaper. Now let's move on to 1500. Okay, here is what I did after 1500 grid. It's now about 10 minutes I am uh, using the sandpaper, sanding out this plastic piece. Let's, I'm not even worried about these blacked out fading away because I have another trick to easily restore these. Okay, let's use uh, 2000 grit now. <laughs> Okay, this is how it is after 2000 grit. It's not that bad, it's not that scratchy, it just needs a polish. So let's go ahead and polish this up now. Okay, this is how it looks like after 2000 grit and after drawing up using a rag. As you can see, it's not that bad. But to update you on the blackouts, are actually done from the exterior. So the way I sand it, I just uh, took all the blackouts away, but that's not a big problem. So now I'm going to use some polishing compound and a soft pad. You can use your hand. I used polish and I used compound. Okay, this is how it is at the moment. And if I turn the head unit on. You can see that it's like that. We are not finished over here yet. I have another trick down my sleeves, let's see if that works or not. Okay, and what if I use some of these tints, window tints on this plastic? So I partially uh, pasted back the broken corner. Let's see if this works on this plastic or not. Okay, this is how it looks after applying a tint on it. I'm not a good tinter, but I think you will do a better job than me. Let's put it on the screen and see how it shows the numbers. This is how it looks like with the screen on. Here is the final result. What do you think? Is it better than what it was or is it worse? Is it, was it fixable? I'm pretty sure you can do a better job than me. First of all, not breaking uh, the plastic display and then second, doing a better job tinting. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed. Please give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video and if this is going to be helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing, please stay tuned.